country is a shambles, a disgrace to our ancestors. I think we've all had enough of self-serving career politician parasites who do nothing for our people except feed at the taxpayer trough. Islamic extremists walk the streets of Britain spewing hate, fighting for ISIS, then getting council houses while homeless veterans get nothing. Rampant political correctness has turned our people into second-class citizens, cowering in fear at being called racist just for being proud to be British. Uncontrolled mass immigration is allowing millions of migrants into our country, squeezing our people out of our towns and cities and changing the face of our nation forever. We have to sit back and watch as sponging, scrounging foreigners travel halfway around the world to get to soft-touch Britain for a life on benefits and free housing, passing through multiple safe countries, crossing the channel in expensive dinghies with their smartphones and designer clothes, only to be put in luxury hotels at taxpayer expense while homeless veterans rot on the streets of our towns and cities. Our public services, our NHS, our schools, our armed forces are degenerating into a third world shambles while we send countless billions overseas in foreign aid to prop up dictatorships and give nations like India a space program or Pakistan nuclear weapons. We have to sit back and watch as the out of touch political elites squander the sacrifice of millions of our war hero ancestors who died in their millions to keep Britain free and independent. I have had enough of watching left-wing bigots condemn the British people as racists for celebrating their culture, heritage and history, while at the same time promoting every alien religion and culture at the expense of ours. Things such as Black History Month and many other examples. To say that I am angry is a colossal understatement. I am filled with hate. Hate for the crooked, corrupt politicians. Hate for the lying fake news media. Hate for the globalist institutions like the EU. I despise them all. That's why me and others decided to launch this movement to engage in a hundred years war against the political establishment to sweep them all into the political gutter where they belong. We will not rest until our people have been put first in their own country, before migrants, asylum seekers and scroungers. We will not rest until national pride and identity have been restored to our long-suffering people. We will not rest until all the expenses fiddling politicians are subjected to good old-fashioned British justice. We will not rest until our national borders have been closed and the endless invasion of our homeland has completely ceased. We will not rest until Islamic extremism has been completely eradicated and the threat of terrorism from jihadis has been completely and mercilessly crushed. We will not rest until foreign criminals have been forcibly deported and sent back to their own countries. We will not rest until British history, traditions and culture is taught in our schools and our children and grandchildren have a future they can look forward to. We will not rest until FGM, Halal Slaughter, terrorist networks and grooming gangs have been whacked out and sent packing back to the Stone Age tyrannies of the Middle East. Where has the world-famous British backbone gone? Where's the spirit of Wellington, Nelson and Churchill? Where's the bravery of the Spitfire pilots and the Desert Rats? By sitting back and doing nothing, we are reducing our nation and our future to third world mediocrity and farce. Only a revolutionary patriotic movement like Britain First can turn the situation around and save our country from the terrible dark future that awaits it. If the politicians and journalists think they can dismantle our country without an almighty backlash, then they are grossly mistaken. How dare they think that they can ruin our nation and get away with it? I will personally frog march all of them to the Tower of London, through Traitor's Gate and then on to a good old-fashioned dose of British justice. Britain is slowly waking up. The British lion is starting to roar. All the wars, all the death, the sacrifice, the suffering of our people through eons have come together in a final movement of survival to fight with passion, fire and blood to secure a future for the true British people of these islands. Britain First 
is no ordinary political party. We are a declaration of political war, a movement of history and destiny, with a divine mission to resurrect this great nation and to restore truth and justice to our people. We will fight and struggle onwards to victory and then build an earthly paradise for future generations. And the world will marvel and emulate our example, our greatness and our prosperity. The heavy hand of history is resting on our shoulders, urging us to be worthy of the mighty heritage that is bestowed on all of us by thousands of years of heroes and ancestors. Future generations of unborn British children are crying out for you to take action, to stand proud, to step forward and volunteer before it is too late. As leader of this movement, I look forward to standing shoulder to shoulder with all of you in the future as we wage a cataclysmic political battle against the traitors and criminals of the establishment. Nothing can or will stop us, for God and history is on our side. All it takes is bravery and courage. Rediscover your British backbone 